guys, it's Megan and I'm here to bring you a shitload of empties and I'm so excited to do this. I couldn't even wait for my hair to dry so if it looks crazy, whatever. But I have a huge bin, like this thing is super heavy and I have a lot of masks because I did mask miss over the course of when I did vlog miss, which was pretty much all of December. And I've been masking since then, of course. And so I have a lot of masks. And so if you're into masks, like sheet masks, those will all be at the end. But um, let's just dive in with makeup because that's always fun. I have some declutters and then some stuff that I've uh, used up fully. So this isn't like truly makeup, but this is my Jimmy Choo Illicit perfume that was a rollerball or is a rollerball. Such a beautiful fragrance. Definitely one that I would purchase in a full size, but I enjoyed this so, so much. Then I have two mascaras. They're both by L'Oreal, the uh, Voluminous Carbon Black, which is a tried and true favorite, and then the Voluminous Lash Paradise Waterproof. I love this product but I don't like the waterproof like it gives super great volume I'm wearing it today but the non-waterproof version it just gives you super big lashes like even more volume than the like standard voluminous does but the waterproof is just way too hard to remove even after like using oil and eye makeup remover and stuff there's still mascara on my eye lashes so I just don't think this waterproof formula is for me but the regular voluminous lash paradise is incredible and then the normal voluminous is really awesome but I definitely like the lash paradise better this I finally had to say goodbye to the Tarte So Fine liquid eyeliner this is amazing it has a super super fine tip and it's actually a felt tip but it never got messed up it's still that beautiful point and this lasted over a year and it was just starting to get like not as much ink to the tip so I couldn't um get as dark of a line but I really love this and I honestly really really miss it so I would definitely repurchase that this is a declutter this is the Dior um Capture Total Dream Skin um Perfection Perfect perfect skin cushion. So I got this when I did that Lord and Taylor trend show where I was the MC. And so I got this and it was like one of those really like amazing products that I never would have bought like otherwise because it's like $80 for this. The cushions were really like trendy at that point. Um, and this definitely breaks me out. Like I've used it here and there over the last like that was almost a year ago that I did that and every time I use it like the next day or the day after my skin is just not quite right so I'm decluttering this I do have like the it comes with a backup cushion I have that for sale on my blog so if you are interested in that it's never been opened it's in the shade 010 might work for you but it's just not something that works for me this I am decluttering because I've had it for forever. If you guys have been with me for forever, you'll remember this, the Benefit Birthday Suit Creaseless Cream. This was my like tried and true cream eyeshadow, but it's just, I never use it and it's too old. So I'm getting rid of that. And then this is a mascara sample. I used up the uh, Bare Minerals Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara. And I didn't really care for this too much. The brush is this crazy like spirally type and I don't know it just didn't really do much for my lashes so that's all the makeup that I used up and am decluttering okay on to the rest of the goodness so I used this up last night the Benilico clean it zero this is a sherbet cleansing it's not a balm it's a sherbet cleansing sherbet <laughs> So I guess it's a cleansing sherbet, but I used this all up. I, I really enjoyed this. This was great for removing makeup. This is a K-Beauty product, by the way. Um, great at removing makeup because it's not as hard as a balm cleanser. It's more whipped. So that's where the sherbet name comes in. And when you start to massage it, it like 
comes into an oil, just like a, a balm cleanser or whatever. So I really liked the performance of this. I love this as a morning cleanser, even as a face massage cleanser. But the one thing is it, if I would put it over my eyes, it would make my eyes really foggy for like quite some time. Like it would be like noticeable that I got some in my eyes and it was very cloudy in my eyes. So I just stopped putting it over my eyes and that like completely cured the problem. But I want to try the Hamish All Clean Balm before I repurchase this, but this is definitely really nice. I think it's around 19 or $20, something like that. And yeah, I really like that. I used up a nail polish remover. I tried to get the strengthening one, but I'm just using up the nail polish remover we have. So that was one I used up. Bauchelon Bio True. This is a non-hydrogen peroxide um, contact lens solution. Like I use the, and I don't know if I have it in here, the Clean Care contact lens solution normally, but I like to have this around just in case I need to like rinse off my contacts or something. So I used that up. I have a bunch of products that were in my Project Use It Up by 2018. Some that I used up during that project and some that I've used up since then. So this is the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. I love this stuff. It smells like coconut icing, like the texture is like icing. The smell is incredible. It's so, so good, really inexpensive. And yeah, I have two more of these and I would definitely repurchase after I'm done. Then I have a few of the Josie Marin, and I think there's one more in here. Yes, three of the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Body Butters. So two I used up in the project were Honeysuckle Vanilla, which is like a flowery scent, which I didn't really love. And then the Gingerbread Vanilla, which is way too gingerbread -y. I didn't really love either of those, but I used this up last night. This is the Josie Marin Unscented Body Butter. Not a scent to be found. It is amazing, especially if you have really sensitive skin. I'm sorry, I have like a hair just like ever so slightly tickling me. Um, if you have really sensitive skin, like my upper body is really sensitive, but I want to moisturize that part of my body. This is incredible. I savor this and I never want to use it, but it's so effective at moisturizing but not irritating my skin. I love this and if it was way cheaper, I would always have it. For hair dye, I most recently used the Garnier Very Berry Nutrice uh, 462 Dark Berry Burgundy. I got this on sale at Target for only $3.50 and I love how it turned out. It's lasted really, really nicely in my hair. I get compliments on my hair constantly now and it I don't know, it's so awesome. Like I feel like since I dyed my hair really, really dark brown that one month, that depth has stayed in my hair and then every time I do my reddish tone over it, it just looks so rich and like freshly done. Like every time I see Chloe, she's like, did you just do your hair because it looks so fresh? And I'm like, nope, haven't done it in weeks or a month or so. So yeah, I really enjoy this and this might've been my last one, but I've definitely repurchased that. These suck. Don't get these head marshals. These are the New Age Beauty Collagen Under Eye Pads. So there was five pairs in here. They were individually packaged and they just slip down your face and then you have like chin pads. Like they don't stay. Definitely get ones that are like gel and that stay under your eyes like the um, Shang Pri. I've been using those most recently. These are just really not that good. They were only $4, but I wouldn't even waste $4 next time I saw those. The Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Vitamin A Glycolic Cleanser. This is a really nice exfoliating without physical exfoliants cleanser because it has the glycolic so it exfoliates your skin gently as you're using it and it just made my skin feel really soft really really nice and I don't need a cleanser anytime soon but this was a good one. I used this up today the Ole Henriksen Truth Sugar Glow Polishing Mask and this was this actually had quite a bit of product I probably used it like five or more times and it's like a sticky, 
um, I don't know, it's like a sticky sugar with particles of like raw sugar in it that you like apply to your face either as a mask or sometimes I would just use it as a like exfoliant and it was fine but I didn't really love it. The Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. This is so hyped up. It's so fragranced. I didn't see a difference using this at all. I didn't love that it was overly fragranced and I don't, I don't know. I know that it's inexpensive for like how much you get, but I would never buy this. I didn't see any difference and I didn't like the like super fragrant aspect of it. The Gold Bond Eczema Relief Hand Cream. I cut this open. I love this so much. I have one in my purse right now. I always have to have this in the colder months because my hands just get so dry they crack. And I swear by Gold Bond, whether it's eczema or whatever, like any of their really moisturizing products do the trick for me. So I love that. The Tata Harper, this is the Regenerating Cleanser, a deluxe sample of that. It is a really fine exfoliating cleanser and I honestly feel like it's kind of scratchy on my skin because of how fine the exfoliating particles are. So I would always mix it in with another cleanser like the Vanilla Co or something else like this and that's how I worked through it but I don't know. I just don't really like this. I would like to try the Tata Harper Purifying Cleanser, which is like a cream cleanser, but I don't really like this regenerating one. The Leilani Honey Love Cleanser Exfoliant and Mask. I use this up in my Project Use It Up and it's like stuck together because it's literally made of honey and natural ingredients smells so good but similar to that Tata Harper one the exfoliants are so small that it just felt too much on my skin and I'm not a person that likes physical exfoliants I much prefer using a chemical exfoliant that you can't really feel scratching your skin that just kind of works so this I wouldn't repurchase even though I love the scent of it so much I also used this up today. I was so happy. The Tarte Maracuja Oil. I started using this on my body after you guys suggested that um, during my finale video. And so I use this on my arms and it does the trick really well. Nice and moisturizing but not heavy. And I wouldn't repurchase this but I was glad that I used it all the way up. This is the uh, Hello Beautiful Bath and Body Works Shower Gel. <sighs> I love these little minis, but this one kept breaking. I literally would have to unscrew the top to use it because this thing would just like fall off. So didn't love that. I like to have a travel size of any shower gel. This was a nice scent. It's kind of like fruity and sweet. It's, I don't know, I really, really liked it. And kind of florally. I don't know, it was, it was nice, but I hated the packaging. <laughs> Oh, this hand soap, I'm so sad. The Mrs. Myers Clean Day Apple Cider Hand Soap. I use this in my bathroom. It smelled so good. Oh my God, just like apple cider. It's incredible. So uh, this was a limited edition scent. You can smell the peel of the apple. It's insane. So I really love this, but I'm using other hand soaps right now. Okay, the Shea Moisture... Coconut Water Weightless Shampoo. I got this at Marshalls for $5. I thought this didn't do anything. I used it. There's like a little bit left, but it was as much as I felt like using. Honestly, I don't think this cleansed my hair at all. My hair always felt dirty still after using it. It never lathered up. It didn't make my hair feel any better. It was just like weird. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm gonna stick with my Giovanni. It's done the trick for me for years, so I'm just gonna stick with it. And yeah, I was disappointed about that because I wanted to like have fun trying a different shampoo, but that just didn't do anything for me. The Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, you guys know I'm obsessed with this. This is the ginormous 3.4 fluid ounce. I've had this for years, like since my sophomore year of college or something. And not this bottle, but this product. And 
it's just a tried and true it makes my skin feel amazing it has amazing how much can I say amazing wonderful like aromatherapy properties to it the scent is so relaxing and just the texture of the oil the way that it just keeps my skin in check it is so amazing I definitely will repurchase this after I used up a lot of my serums and I love this would highly recommend it but I can't repurchase it right now Another Burt's Bees lip balm bites the dust. This one like melted and then got stuck in the cap. So it's just time. These were awesome. These are from Michael's brother's girlfriend and they are the Breathe Better Cold and Flu Shower Bombs. And she made these. I don't know. I think I said she got me these. She made these and they are like really just cleansing to your sinuses so you put them in your shower and like the essential oils rise up with the steam and just cleanse out your sinuses i really like these and i use these when i was sick so thank you so much megan um this is the polish choice pc for men body wash this is a completely unscented body wash and i have backups of this when i had referral credits from them so i just use it from time to time if I don't want a scented body wash and it does the trick cleans your body but it's not like that amazing I'm trying to pick through all the masks because there's a lot the Amara Vixa illuminizing illuminating moisturizer this is in my travel bag it has a very strong like herbally scent but I really liked this under makeup. It gave like a slight glow to your skin. Even if I wasn't wearing makeup that day, just made your skin look really healthy without having a lot of like tackiness or anything on your skin. Like at night, I like moisturizers that are really like full on and you can still feel the moisture on your skin. But during the day, I don't want to feel the moisture on my skin. I want it to sink in. And this gave me a glow but sunk in. I don't think I would pay the Amorovixa price tag, but this was really, really nice. Um, the, oh, I'm so sad about this, CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This is probably my favorite daytime moisturizer. It's so moisturizing without being heavy. It has so many good ingredients like ceramides to really just uh, plump up your skin and just be amazing. Uh, niacinamide is in it. Is, yeah, hyaluronic acid is in here. That is awesome. So I love this. We'll definitely repurchase when I need a daytime moisturizer in the future. It says PM just because it doesn't have sunscreen, but I love this product during the day. Um, Some samples before we get to masks. My gosh, I should put the masks separately. Um, I have fresh soy face cleanser. You guys know I love that. Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Toner. This is so good. I will definitely purchase this in the future. So hydrating and oh, it's such a hydrating toner. Not sticky, not fragranced. It's just so good. I love that. This is the Blythe Padding Water Pack Energy Yellow Citrus and Honey. This is like a splash mask. And I don't get this. Like, I don't see any difference in this. I don't get the hype of Splash Mask. I just feel like it's such a waste of product because you're just, like, literally splashing it on your face and then expecting it to work effectively. I don't know. It's just so weird. Never going to purchase that. And then I have two deluxe samples before we get into the mask madness. The Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. I hated this. It dried out my skin so much. I used it in my travel bag. It says it removes makeup, so I used it sometimes as a makeup remover. It didn't really do that. So I used it as a second cleanser, morning cleanse. Such dry skin out of this, like, it's a gel cleanser with little, like, bits of blueberries, maybe. I don't know. And it just dried out my skin, and I would never ever buy that or I got that in a set and I would never use that again and then the Josie Marin 100% 100% pure argan oil and I use this in my travel bag I love this little bottle and I'll definitely keep it for other oils but I really really like this product for a really hydrating serum basically so yeah I I always use samples of her argan oil 
on to all the masks and like I said I masked every day of December leading up to Christmas and I just have so many to go over with you guys this has a lot of products left in the bottom. This is the Make Prem Blending Me Nourishing Oil Mask. So this is a sheet mask in oil instead of in just like an essence. So it's super hydrating, very, very nourishing. I really enjoyed it. And I'm like, look at all this essence that's still, or oil that's still in there. So I'm gonna excavate that out of there. The Peach and Lily Reset Button. I love this mask. If my skin is acting up in any way, I always enjoy using this because it just calms everything down. Really love this and have several backups of that. This is fun. Rachel and I did this the other week. The Got7 uh, Sheet Mask. It's by It's Skin. Got7 is one of my favorite K-pop bands. Never Ever. Do you guys know that song? Oh my god. If you don't, you need to. It's so good. So we got this on Black Friday from Hot Topic and this mask wasn't really that good to be honest, but I just loved getting something with them on it. This is the um, Package Everyday Bouncy Facial Mask. I have a bunch of these that came in a set. I don't really enjoy this mask too much, but I'm gonna continue to use them up. This is the Make Prem Comfort Me Air Mask. This was the thinnest, like, I don't know. It literally is like air on your skin. It's so soft and so thin, but like supple. I don't know. It's crazy. It really hydrated my skin. I really, really enjoy this brand and would definitely buy this because this came in the Glow Recipe Mystery Mask set. This is the Leaders Coconut Gel Mask with Blueberry. This is one of my favorite masks. It's a like gel, hydrogel material that has backing on both sides. So you have to take the plastic backing off, put it on your face, and then remove the backing from the other side. I was like so confused when I used it for the first time. But this is so good. It really hydrates. I love the texture of the mask. It's a much more expensive mask than I like to use on a regular basis. But if I want to treat myself, I really enjoy this mask. This, oh my gosh, this was the Ulta Beauty Lip Mask Cranberry and Pomegranate. I should have kept it. But I have a picture on Instagram of me and Rachel using them. There are these huge gel lips that you put over your mouth and it's supposed to hydrate and all those good things but the takeaway that I have of this mask is we were watching it or we were using it while watching 90210 which we love to mask and watch our shows and I talk during shows so much like it's probably Michael's number one peeve about me because I'm always asking questions and talking during shows. It's so, like to me it's funny and we always pause shows now so I can ask questions. But when me and Rachel watch shows, we both just talk during it and are like, oh my God, what are they doing and stuff. But when we had on these lip masks, I couldn't talk. And I never realized how much I like to talk during shows until I couldn't. So I do think that that moisturized my lips, but it's not a necessity. It's just something extra and fun. Oh, I found a, another sample. This is the Aromatica Natural Coconut Cleansing Oil. This is a fine cleansing oil. Not super like memorable, but it does the trick. The Innisfree It's Real Squeeze Mask with Shea Butter. I really, really enjoy these Innisfree masks, especially for the price. The Shea Butter one is really, really moisturizing, so I use this when my skin was extra dry. The uh, Pure Lease Prevent Blue Lotus Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask, intensely moisturizing, soothing, and balancing. I got this in an Ipsy set, and I really like this mask. I didn't think it was like especially great, but I have another one of this, and I'll definitely use it and enjoy it. It's not something I would seek out, but it's a uh, effective mask. This is the Tosu Wong Pure Aloe Sheet Mask. I love this mask. It's like $1.50 or $2. It's very hydrating and nourishing and not irritating. And I just love it for the price. 
You guys know we love these. The MD's Picks Aqua HC Moist Collagen Peel Off Modeling Mask. So it comes just like this when you buy it. And then this is where you mix up the mask. It comes with two packets, one that's like a jelly and one that's a powder. You mix it up with this spatula and then it turns out to be this bluish color. And it has plenty of product for two people. So I only ever use these masks when Rachel is home or if Michael wants to do a mask with me or if I force Michael to do a mask with me um, because there's just way too much product and it'll go to waste if you don't use it all at once. So I love this. Moisturizes my skin so well. My skin always feels so hydrated, plump, amazing after I use this and so I'll definitely repurchase this in the future. The Creme Shop Clarifying Co Peppermint Cocoa Sheet Mask. This was a fun product that I found at Marshalls a few months ago, and I didn't really love this mask. I don't think it did much for my skin. I gave the rest away as uh, Christmas presents, but it was just a cute and fun mask, but not really effective. This is the Patchology Flash Mask Illuminate a five minute facial sheet. I got this at Marshalls for 99 cents. Can't go wrong if I find a sheet mask of a brand I like or that is well known. For 99 cents, you know I'm gonna buy it. So I've used quite a few of these. They're nice. I would never pay the full price for these, but um, yeah, I would definitely buy them in the future if I found them for 99 cents. This is the Leaders Pore Gone for Good Pore Refining Mask. I don't ever see a difference when I use like pore refining masks or anything. The next one is the Karuna exfoliating face mask. I just don't see any differences in my skin in that way with sheet masks. So I wouldn't repurchase either of these, but they were fine. This is the Innisfree, oh I have another um, Innisfree shea butter, so I really like that. I use two of those. And this is the Innisfree Manuka Honey. I really like this ingredient, so I was happy to see it in a mask, and I thought it was fine. Pretty much all the Innisfree ones kind of do the same thing to me. They're nice and moisturizing, good essence, um, great price. So I would definitely repurchase that. Then the last one in here is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Concentrated Recovery Power Foil Mask. And and so this is a super fancy mask. I got it for $10 at Marshalls, but these are, I think, over $20 for one sheet mask. Comes in really nice packaging, and then it comes in a fancy gold packaging, and then there's a top half and a bottom half, so you can really get a nice fit with this. And it is foil, like the mask is made of foil. And I have never felt a mask lift and firm my face like this one and I don't need that at this time of my life but this actually did that and I felt it I felt it for at least a full day after it if not two days after it. I still felt like that lifting and the plumpness in my cheeks it was crazy so if you are concerned with aging or you want like a lifting effect to your face and if you can find this at Marshalls, I think you would be really impressed and really shocked that something could actually do that. I left it on my skin for a long time. I think it it's only supposed to be on your skin for like 20 minutes. I probably left it on for like 30 or 40 minutes and just really got all the benefits that I could out of the product. So this was amazing, but not necessary for someone in their mid 20s. So that is it, you guys. So many masks. I'm always surprised that I can remember these masks. It's like kind of crazy, but I just love them so much. So I guess it just sticks in my mind. But thank you so much for watching my empties. I realized I wore this shirt, I think in my last empties video, but whatever, I love this shirt. So <laughs> thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you loved all these empties and I will see you guys really soon. Bye.